Hey coin collectors and welcome to the Big D Coin Channel and this is DC on the Big D. And this is the 1971 Eisenhower dollar. It says Liberty at the top and God we trust under Eisenhower's chin in 1971. So a lot of people talk about the silver Eisenhower dollars. And of course people remember in the old days where we had the silver peace dollars and this is the there's Lady Liberty facing to the left. Still sells Liberty on the top, just like it does on the Ike. In God we trust on both sides of her, rather than just under the chin, and then the date on the bottom. Um, and on this one, of course, you can see the engraver's initials on the bottom of this one. On the Ike, you uh, this is a Frank Gasparro engraving, and you can uh, see the initials right there, the F and the G. Are there silver versions? Yes. Is this a silver version? No. Can you find one in your regular change? Probably not, but let's talk about why and what um, a silver version is and what this one is. So we have a pile of five of them here. We're just gonna look through them. So we look under there. We do see the initials there, but we don't see any mint mark here. And this is where the mint mark would be on the Eisenhower dollar. One of the weird things about the Eisenhower dollar is the mint mark is really tiny. It's the same size as on the Susan B dollars or on the quarters or whatever. So when you get the mint mark, sometimes it's hard to see with your naked eye. Um, so you have to kind of magnify it. What is this one made of? Oh, there's a kind of dirty one there. This is a copper nickel clad copper. Um, so when it first came out in 1971, that's how they brought them out. Copper nickel clad copper. They made them in Philadelphia. 48 million of these were made in Philadelphia. They made them in Denver and it would have a D down here. They made 68 and a half million in Denver. And then they made them at the San Francisco Mint. Um, and they made a lot of them. And it's, it's kind of weird. They made um, between uh, four and six million. The numbers are weird um, because uh, the silver cladding is what they put on them. They are worth about probably um, seven or eight dollars just in silver. They're forty percent silver. Um, they will have an S on them right here if it is a San Francisco mint one. Um, so the mintage number is listed at six point eight million, but then um, we know that just that that they made at least four point three million. So hard to figure, but there's no S here in this one. Uh, there's one with a D on it. Okay, so that's from the Denver Mint, and that's where they made the most of these. They made 68.5 million rather than 48 million at, at the Philly. No D on this one either, I mean, or, or S, and then there's a D here. So, well, I want to look at this D because I was talking to you about how the D is the same size on this coin. So let's just back off the coin, and you can just barely see it. If you know exactly where to look, you see this little dot here. And I want to show you a Susan B. Anthony coin from 1979. And I want to show you that it's the same exact size D. So this is a Susan B. There's a D. That's supposed to be a D because they came out really bad. Um, if this Ike had been used a little bit more, it probably would have worn down to there. But So there's a D. There's a D. Same exact size on this size coin as on this size coin. And what that what is what makes it look a lot smaller. And we've always had... Um, these uh, dollar coins in the United States. Here's a much older one. You can see this one here? So this is, anybody, any guesses as to what's in the front of this one? Let's flip it over and see. Ah, uh, this is an 1890. So E Pluribus Unum, this is the Liberty Band going across her hair. Just a beautiful um, engraving here also. So these coins though were 90% um, silver, 90% silver here. 90% silver here. So they um, were worth a lot just in silver value, $18, $16, $18 just in silver value. The Eisenhower um, S coin that came out um, was not 90% uh, silver, it was 40% silver. And uh, they brought it out in 1971. They had the silver clad in 1972, in 1973, in 1974, and then in 1976, they came out with the bicentennial version. And in 1976, they came out with a silver clad bicentennial version. So I'll show you that one right here. And you can clearly see that this is an S 
not well. You can't clearly see this nest, but you, you know it's not a D or a, or, or a blank. Um, if we tip it up right there, we go. That's a little. There's a. It's an eight, right? Um, that's that's what the San Francisco mint mark would look like. It also, if you got an S mint coin, a San Francisco mint coin, it would look like this because they're proof coins. So even if you get one from 1971, it's going to be this kind of shiny, not this kind of a uh, coin. So what's this worth? Seven fifty just in silver value alone is probably worth eighteen to twenty dollars, maybe even more. This is a a really nice coin. All right, all of that, and then what's on the back? What's on the back is the same for every single one. There's no mint marks on the back, no changes on the back, except when we look at the 1972, which we will in a few days, um, you'll see that in 1972, there's some problems with the islands here, but we will get back to that, because this is a 71. So it says United States of America at the top. We have our stars here. <clears throat> we have 13 stars. We have the eagle landing on the moon. Kind of a slight commemoration of Apollo 13. It says $1 at the bottom. And then way over here, Underneath the eagle's feathers, we see another FG. So we have Frank Gasparro, the eagle, of course, holding an olive branch as it lands on the moon, looking over shoulder at the earth. Um, so Frank Gasparro has his initials on the front. Here's the back one. And here's the front one right under there, Frank Gasparro. Front and the back of a coin, which almost never happens in U.S. coins. Uh, even if they've engraved the front and the back, uh, you, you don't see the initials on both. But Frank um, got to be... Uh, on this one, he got to be on both. All right, so the 71s, how much are they worth just in regular condition? Um, they're worth about 2 to $3. Um, how much are they worth in MS-63? You get up to $6. MS-65, because they didn't have many of these that were in um, really good shape, they're worth between $50 and $100 um, if they're in MS-65. What's an MS-65 look like? Well, not quite like this, but it has a shine to it. Um, and uh, an MS-65 won't have this kind of buffing on, on the uh, figurehead, but it will be much shinier than this. And you'll know when you see it um, that it hasn't been used and it doesn't have any scratches on it. All right, that's all we have today from our channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.